Let's go from campus. So, what's campus? Well, we all love it. It's this guy. Its feature is that it's insanely good at mimicking. Well, using uh, mice as turn signals is cute, but the door opens like an automatic door with machine-like sound. It's also pretty neat that the eyes shine like headlights, and there are even seats inside. Not only that, there is a sign that says Tsukamori, uh, and that sign can be switched with a clicky sound. It is another level compared to Totoro or Suit Sprites. It's so well elaborated, so it's almost like a toy figure, but I mean, of course, because Cat Bus is actually a Bakeneko, a monster cat that can transform and trick people. Isao Takahata said when he made Pompoko, uh, only foxes, raccoons, and cats can trick people. So the true identity of Cat Bus, the first of the three different kinds of monsters, is a, a monster cat. So it's a yokai, a Japanese folk monster. Interestingly, all three are actually different. Cat Bus is different from Suit Sprites and Totoro. According to Miyazaki's setting, which he told in an interview, Cat Bus has temporarily transformed into a bus. Before it's turned into a bus, apparently it had turned into palanquin couriers during the Edo period, that real palanquin that samurai used to travel in. I mean, not just the palanquin part, but also the four carriers carrying it front and back. <laughs> It was probably possible since it's got four legs, but it's pretty skillful. That's how yokais tricked people, for fun. For example, there is a story where someone got on the palanquin in Edo, but in only 30 minutes it arrived in Kamakura. It loves tricking people. It can mimic things in so much detail without letting the humans find out. In a short movie called May and Kitten Bus, which is being played in Ghibli Museum, it finally turns into a train, or as you can see the screw in the back, it also turns into a ship. It's a huge and long cat, which is a train. These monster cats do this as a hobby, which is to trick people. For example, someone goes to a wharf and be like, where's my ship? And he's taken to a totally different place. Or gets on a train that takes him to some random place. In other words, it's like the ghost train in Gekeke no Kitaro. The story about the ghost train in Gekeke no Kitaro is a scary story where the train takes people to hell without them realizing and they can't go back home anymore. But Miyazaki argues, no, you guys aren't like that. They're more playful. It's kind of wrong to see them through such stereotype images. So, this kind of interesting cats like to trick people. Well, they first have to, the desire to transform, then to trick people. That's how they are portrayed as this kind of monsters. I have read a lot of articles related to Totoro, and I was wondering, the reason why Miyazaki's remark was interesting was because, see, there are these things called Mizuki Yokai or the Night Parade of 100 Demons, Miyazaki doesn't seem to like them. But not liking them doesn't mean he hates Mizuki Yokai, he probably can't tolerate the current situation where all Japanese people think of the Mizuki version when they hear Itamomen or Sunakake Ba. He wants us to look at his version, which is the true nature of artists. That's why Cat Bus is an antithesis against the Mizuki Yokai. He wants to send a message on how Yokais should really be like. If Mizuki were to draw monster cats, he would make them look scary by drawing their furs with their fine details, then those cats would grin at you and take you to a scary place. But Miyazaki would say, no, if I did that, I would be imitating a pioneer. Scary looking monster cats are like cliché. He wanted to make them more interesting. 
If a monster cat was a typical big cat with just a scary face, it would look like Mizuki version. Miyazaki always says, I'll never imitate Tezuka, a pioneer Japanese manga artist. It's kind of similar to that. So to conclude, Cat Bus is a Miyazaki's version of yokai. And again, all of the three ghosts in Totoro are different from each other. Okay, 